Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out another one of our videos. In this video, we're featuring a little puppy, Westy, who's not too fond of the bath. She really hates the water being squirted at her, so the bath is a bit of a challenge. Although she's really, really good for everything else that pertains to the grooming. She's really good on the table. She's really good with the clippers and the scissoring. She just really hates the water being squirted at her. So in the video, we're doing our best to make her feel comfortable while getting her bath. Don't forget to like if you enjoy the content as that's the best way to support our channel. And please do us a big favor and subscribe if you're new. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so right here you can just see that she's anticipating everything I'm doing. Uh, she just really, really hates the water being squirted at her. So I'm, I'm just testing water temperature and <laughs> she's already hating it. Again, guys, this is not an aggressive dog. She just really hates the bath. She's actually very, very sweet. So now I'm starting to wet her down. And you could just see she's coming around. She's really trying to bite the nozzle. I'm doing my best to keep the nozzle away from her mouth. I really don't want her making contact with the nozzle because the nozzle is metal and if she does make contact with her, I don't want her to cut her mouth or break a tooth or anything like that. So I'm really trying to just keep her safe by keeping the nozzle a clear distance from her mouth. She's smart. She's kind of testing it, she's accepting it, but then as you can see, she just goes for it once in a while. Just giving her a quick lather now. So the challenge with this is after I lather her all up, I have to rinse it. So it's gonna make the water even worse because uh, she's gonna hate it because I'm gonna need to apply the water even more than the initial wet down already as soon as I pick up that nozzle she's just right away she just wants to snap at it again the challenge here is just getting her rinsed off I don't want to leave any soap on her keeping in mind that my hand is also attached to the nozzle here so if she does uh, bite, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to get bitten. The first time I did her, I actually did get bitten. She's just shaking it off. She just, and she's tolerating it at, at best. Okay, so I'm really trying to get her underside here and this is the part that's the challenge I want to get behind her ears I don't want to leave any soap behind her ears and her muzzle but again you can just see how fast she is and how much she really just does not appreciate me squirting water at her you know, she kind of tires out every once in a while but then just gets a whole new uh, a whole new go at it She's just figuring I'm going to shake it off and then as soon as he comes at me again, I'm going to bite the hell out of that nozzle. Again, I'm just kind of squirting her from a distance. I'm trying to get underneath her, but you know, if I get too close, she will just bite down on the nozzle. She's done it before and I, I, I'm so afraid I don't want her to get hurt. I don't want her to hurt herself. So I'm really just trying to keep her safe and give her a bath at the same time. So over here, I'm just letting her smell it. I, I'm not squirting any water at her, just to try to show her that she doesn't need to be afraid. But you can see she's just really, really head shy. She's just anticipating me squirting the water out of it and just ready to bite. But you know, it, it, this is telling me it's not really the nozzle that she's uh, afraid of. It's the actual water. It's the squirting of the water. So, you know, we got through the bath here, and just I'm checking her for suds. I'm checking her. Uh, making sure that I rinsed off as much shampoo as I can and just calming her down here and just kind of telling her what a good girl she is. 
And as you can see, she really is a good girl. She's just a very, very sweet dog. And as we mentioned in the intro, uh, she's just a perfect dog for everything else. She stands like a statue for the grooming. And this is the part that she hates, just the, just the bath. But very, very sweet dog and we love her dearly. Uh, but just get to know your dogs. Some dogs are just good for the whole thing and some dogs just hate certain parts of it. And as you can see, she just doesn't like the water. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. We just wanted to show you a little puppy Westy who's not too fond of the bath, uh, but again, just a sweetheart for everything else. If you enjoyed this video, do us a big favor, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.